Hello everybody, welcome to Amsterdam. This is Murat, 29 of December. If you are watching this video from the future, we are still under lockdown, 29 of December 2021. And it's 7.30 p.m. Amsterdam. Almost everywhere is closed except takeaway restaurants and places. And at 8 o'clock, Albertine and all other supermarkets are also closing. How are you doing, everybody? Hope to... Uh, we hope we have uh, another beautiful live walking tour together. Today's plan is visiting uh, Wester Park, actually, but we are nearby Haarlemmer Uh We will start our tour from Febo, because I haven't eaten anything almost. I'll take a little snack from there and then we will continue to our walk through Alamerstraat. We will arrive to Wester Park and there is a beautiful light artwork scene over there. We will see that hopefully. It's open until 9 o'clock. Hello everyone. So many people on the live chat again. Thanks very much. It's 10 Celsius. Today is a tropic weather. We have a tropic weather in Amsterdam. It's 10 Celsius. If you remember my previous uh, live streams, it was like minus 5, minus 4 uh, the last uh, Saturday, I think. Here is the Fabo, the fastest food restaurant with they are ready, ready to get boxes. The burgers and snacks are warmed up over there. Now, give me a minute. I'll take a vitalche, a vegetarian snack, and then I will continue. Oops. But the one thing, I was almost forgetting that I should wear a mask. Give me a second. All right, I'm ready to get inside. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go. I took my fill. I can walk another two hours if it's necessary. Hopefully, we will not have any copyright problem because I didn't stay long inside. This is my Vitachi vegetarian snack inside. In it, it's melted cheese. And the outside is crispy. Wow. It's hot. This is how the inside of this Vitalche, Vitalche, the little snack, vegetarian snack, looks. It's melted cheese and some other stuffs. Who knows what they are? <laughs> and the other area is crispy, fried, something. Flour. Sorry. Hello, Demirci Paolo, Federico, Colleen, Angelo, and many others, David, Anaria, Merhaba. Anaria, soon we are going to travel to Smith country, Turkey. <laughs> and I read that the Febo in Demon has opened, so as soon as possible, after my Turkey travel, I'll visit Febo in Demon. Promise. Good evening, Manela. Leo Hartmann, hello. 
I have some bad news for U.S. citizens. Today I read on the newspaper, and as it announced today, as of tomorrow, Thursday, 30 December of uh, 2021, Thursday morning, uh, the travelers from United States, they should stay in house quarantine at least five days. If you are traveling to the Netherlands from United States, as of tomorrow morning, you have to stay under house quarantine at least five days. But Netherlands is the only country wants this around the area. I mean, the neighbor countries do not uh, ask this to the travelers. So, for example, uh, there are some <laughs> back doors. For example, if you travel to Belgium or if you travel to Paris or Germany, you, and then you can travel to the Netherlands by train or bus or car, uh, without staying house quarantine. I mean, there is no tracking about that. I'm not recommending to do that. I mean, please obey to the rules, but there is a back door like this. Guys, give my good hello. Thank you so much. Super chat for my snack. Almost finished. Thank you. It's tasty, actually. It's very nice. It's not healthy, but tasty. So we are at Harlemer Strat now. Slowly we walked towards to the Western Park. And in the middle of Wester Park, there is a pond area which was belonged to Wester gas fabric. And as I remember, since 13th of January, there is a light artworks scene there. And some of the trees are decorated with lights also. We will explore that. It's not a big thing, but a small light artworks area. Whatever it is, we will see and explore together. Angelo, when that will end, I don't know. They, I mean, uh, it was the same in the last year, as you remember, and they had lifted up in the summer. So, United States again uh, in the high high risk country list of the Netherlands. Also, Netherlands uh, citizens are advised to not travel to the to United States. Good evening, South Africa. Hey, Dixon from UK. Febo is always fast and tasty, you are right. Thank you, yes. It's been raining the whole day, but on the next hours I don't see any rain. The coffee shop is open, for example, but it's their last minutes. At 8 o'clock they need to close, I think. Last 15 minutes, it seems. Hey Nasus, guy went. No, I don't have a car. I'm a, I'm a bike friendly person. I don't like cars, vehicles. I support bicycles, e-bike, 
and other green vehicles. Well, the next decision about the current measures will be announced on the on the 12th of January, I think. So, on the 12th of January, they will decide what will be the measures in the next weeks. It depends on the numbers, case numbers, hospitality numbers, how Omicron things is going on. Currently, the numbers are still high. Especially in Amsterdam, as I read, 80% of the cases are related to Omicron variant. So the thumbnail of this video, that one, we will see at the end of this video. We will go through this street, Harlemer Strat, Harlemer Street. And at the end of this street, there is a little square. After that, we will arrive to Wester Park and we will walk for a while inside of Wester Park. And at the end, we will see a little pant. Uh, decorated with some colorful lights and also uh, supported by audio so it's an audio visual thing thank you Ebonim by the way normally this week is one of the most busiest weeks of Amsterdam, especially for the Horeca, hotel, restaurant, catering. But they are all closed except takeaway. So they are having unhappy and difficult times nowadays, especially on the New Year Eve. Everything will be the same, so everything will be closed at 8 o'clock, like supermarkets, maybe earlier. And the shops will be closed, no fireworks officially. However, in the last few days, I heard some fireworks or some other explosive things sounds in my neighborhood. So it seems on the New Year Eve there will be some uh, illegal celebrations, let's say, <laughs> illegal celebrations. Let's take a look to the canal side, actually, Brouwerskracht and Harlemer Strauss ends here and after that Harlemer Dijk starts I will skip Harlemer Dijk for a while, instead I'm, I will see and show the Brouwerskracht canal and the weather is good, only a bit windy but the lights are nice so I think I can show you some beautiful canal views with some lights. Backdoor celebrations, yes, from Belgium, Germany and France. <laughs> For three weeks they were carrying, the Dutch guys were carrying some firework stuffs. Thank you, JetSet18. Thanks a lot. Hi, Luciano. The next live stream will be on the New Year Eve. Do not miss that because maybe after New Year's Eve, I will make it members only, if I drink too much. <laughs> Don't forget that. I made a poll on our YouTube channel community page and 
80% of the people would like to see a live stream video on the uh, New Year Eve. So I will do that. At least one live stream, maybe two. I will share the links on Friday afternoon lately. So keep following my sharings on YouTube or methods. Yes, the streets will be empty, probably. We will see only a few people on the streets on the New Year Eve. And there will be no big celebrations or parties and the restaurants, bars, etc. will be closed. However, still, we can document this year's New Year Eve for the next generations. So, this is... This will be one of the most sadly New Year's Eve, probably, and I will document it. I will record everything in the in the, in the old town of Amsterdam, and maybe five, ten years later, the next generations, or we, we will watch <laughs> together what difficult times or what easy times we had. We had that. That will be interesting, I think. Uh, thank you all for your support. Probably Sonar is not gonna join us, most probably. But in the last minute, maybe he can make a surprise. I don't know. If Sonar uh, does not join to our tour, walking tour on the New Year's Eve, I will find another drunk people on the streets. Don't worry. <laughs> I will find another drunk man, similar to me, and we will call him as Soner. <laughs> Thanks, Angelo, well said. Uh, Martin de Jong, no, no more than four people for New Year's Eve. Normally it's two people, but for New Year's Eve, there's an exception. Four people can come together, just like the Christmas time. It was announced uh, in the previous press conference. So Christmas and the New Year is exception. But we will see on the streets if there are four people together or 20 together, I, I will see that on Dam Square, don't worry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I will see more numbers. Julio, I think you can live in Amsterdam by speaking only English. Maybe if you speak Dutch, you can't live in Amsterdam because everyone speaks English. The light is not good here. Uh, today I have a flashlight with me. It's a good, good opportunity to try it on. Let's try it to my new, uh, not new actually, the first time I bring it. It's my camping uh, flashlight. But I haven't, I haven't used it for years since my last camping. For one and a half year actually. Alright, sorry for the shaky camera. Let's see how will be the canal view. Okay. Not enough. Let's try the other one. Right, not bad actually. 
quite good. We can use it on the new year here. Let's move forward. I'm leaving from the canal area and we will continue with Harlemer Dyke again by following this little nice street. Yes, that boats, all of them uh, are residential, Angel. And one of our supporters has a friend actually. One of the boat's owner is friend of one of our supporters, Paul. So I know that almost all of them are full. The people live there. Some of them are available on Airbnb, as I know, or Booking.com. Oh yes, Paul is here. Thank you. Hello Italy, Fabio. Good to see you, thank you. Last five minutes to Supermax Blacktown. We are back to Harlemer Dyke. Well, there are enough lights here. We don't need our flashlight. Oh, yeah, that's true, Natch. Flower Bike Man lives on a boat. But I don't know where is his boat. In this neighborhood or somewhere else. That one looks cute with his national colored glasses. <laughs> it's me in the first day of 2022 after four hours live stream because I'm planning to make a four hours live stream two hours before 12 o'clock and two hours as of 12 o'clock. So bookstores are also closed, but they say it's open for delivery. I mean, you can come here and get your book if you pre-order it. Dutch books. Wow, that looks interesting. I would love to buy it. New historic atlas of Amsterdam from 13th century to wow to the three years later <laughs> this book is from feature oh nice it's an old map of amsterdam hello power zone Just a reminder, please hit the like button if you haven't done that already. And check out the video description if you are a newcomer on this live stream. What's that? Club. Nice colors. Oh, we, this is interesting. We create support wear for the world to build support clubs, support clubs in refugee camps. Wow. For, so if you buy something from here, you give five refugees access to support. Wow, that's really nice. Let me show you one more. And the products looks very good. Club. 
Check it out on the internet. If you would like to buy some nice items and also if you would like to uh, support, give support to refugees and refugee camps. Thanks, Dave Siller. Dave Siller is here. Unfortunately, he is not here in Amsterdam. Maybe he will come back in spring, right? Dora Pop, goedenavond. And another interesting shop <laughs> for dog lovers. Like me. We are almost in the halfway, by the way. Take away business. It's eight o'clock here. So supermarkets are also closed as of now. Pizza backers, I saw pizza backers. Bakers. Cat lover Paula Mello. Yes, I remember that. This is this is a rehearsal for the New Year Eve, you know, we will see something like this. <laughs> Except some explosive things. Hello. There are many stylish, nice, cozy <laughs> shops <laughs> on the street. I think it's closed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, yeah, with one minute. <laughs> this pretty supermarket is closed. So, the woman, the woman tried to get into the supermarket, so she was not aware of the time, and she realized that it's closed. It's a sad moment. The movies is a vintage cinema theater. All right, we arrive to Harlemer Plain, Harlemer Square, and the former Harlemer Port is over there, the gate. Hello, Marcin Kroten. Greetings to. Poland, I think, Poles. Well, there are two other Poland stands here, but they are closed as of now. This is Harlemer Plain. So, this is Harlemer neighborhood. Burt means neighborhood. Let's carry on walking towards Wester Park.
we have still some way to go. Public urinary. This is one of the places that is not affected from lockdown. Always open 24 hours. Roadrunner. Well, actually, the port looks nice with the light. I'll just take a look inside. Hello, Greece. <laughs> I would like to start my stream, but I don't feel any stream <laughs> at the moment. Maybe later. Here it is, lights are still on here, Harlemer port, Harlemer port, let's show you the water scene over there, I see some reflections from the nearby lights. Yes. Show you the time. Ten past eight. Yep, it look like looks like a Roman architecture, right? Hey Scotland, thank you. Thanks for watching. Yes, nowadays Amsterdam is the same after 8 o'clock like this because of the lockdown. Hey Element 99. Good evening. I'm not sure if it's evening to you also. <laughs> Let's see Westerpark. So boring, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you can slip here. Next to Westerpark, next to the canal wheel, you can run this interesting place. Someone is inside. Maybe it's booked already. That's an interesting accommodation point.
Let's see if there is any light in Wester Park. I think yes. From that bridge, spawn down Burt neighborhood. He said, so boring, man, so boring, he said. But I don't know. I think he talk about the general city atmosphere, probably. I don't think he talk about me. But if he talk, yes, it's also correct. <laughs> and then, for the people walking around me, it's a boring video. Maybe for the watchers, it will be interesting for you, but... For the people who live here like him, it will be boring, maybe. We are officially in Wester Park, by the way. Oh, okay, good to know that. Element 99. Same weather there. That's also great. Oh, I love Hamburg. Yeah, the park, green side is dark. Maybe later nearby gas fabric, there will be more lights when we arrive to the cultural uh, area. Let's try this again. Okay, it's pretty good. There are some uh, live streams on TikTok. An account is called Satan666. He just walk in the in the woods in the forest in the night time with a flashlight, and thousands of people watch him. Right, now it's better right there. Yes, on King's Day we walk through this park also. Yes, that's correct. That's good, make it. GGM. Thanks a lot, uh, Woody. Yes, I hear a lot of fireworks as well from the out west side. Thanks, Martin. Hey, Tortoise is here also, our moderator. Thanks a lot. Yes, that was an epic video, I think so. Recently I watched it again, uh, some parts. And it was so much fun, was there. Right.
Well, I live here quickly. So people smoke weed and they look a little bit drunk. This is a headlamp, actually, by the way, the flashlight. Yes, more lights here. That's good. Yeah, I, I use this headlamp on my bicycle tours on the camping areas. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I will wear this headlamp, that will be more comfortable. Give me a minute. Wow. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, I look like a miner now. <laughs> but it works. Hello. What's that? Is a birthday or Bible of Matas? It's a Bible promoting point. We are getting closer to the point, guys. The the place you see on the thumbnail. We are just a few hundred meters away from there. We have a new Patreon supporter, Tibor. Thank you so much, and thanks to all Patreon and YouTube supporters. Appreciate, it, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, wow, sounds 
Okay, now it's better. Yes. Beautiful part of the city, definitely. And we don't we don't have any light problem at all at the moment. I I fixed my headlamp. So we are more comfortable now. Those lights are normally open, of course, but uh, the restaurants are required to be closed. Wow, we can already see that. Do you see that trees? They are part of Arctic uh, Light Project. The trees are looking awesome. And next to the trees there should be a pant. And there are 60 dynamic light works over there with some audio. It's a, it's like a, you know, magic mushroom scene. Yes, magical trees. So you see on my live walking tours, you don't need to get any magic mushroom or some other things. I'm gonna show you the colorful atmosphere without eating or smoking anything. I'm closing the headlamp for a while. Enjoy this colorful trees better not actually David but I tried a few times It's pity I wanted to visit and often light works, but I missed that one. I was at somewhere else in that time. All right, let's get into the jungle.
about more details please check the video description you can find the name of the artist I think there are three artists in total they made these light works arts and combinations one Dutch and two others I think and also I put the link on the description uh, from I Amsterdam website this light exhibition let's call it light exhibition Arctic light exhibition will be open until 9 of January if you are in the Netherlands if you would like to visit this it's free of cost and until 9 of January these lights will be open until, uh, from 4 o'clock to 9 o'clock so it's last 30 minutes actually 35 minutes for this uh, performance and I can already see the big big performance in distance next to the pant there are 60 dynamic light works over there with some audio we are directly walking towards there oh actually Vester gas fabric looks very nice as well let's take a look first in that area from distance hello this is the main circle of Western gas fabric normally especially in the summer there are festivals here weekend events and some salsa night salsa dance events also happens here They, they, it says, I mean, they wish everyone nice festival days, they mean Christmas and the New Year, and a, a New Year with full of culture. It's, uh, it's my translation, similar to that. Hey, please support this video, click the like button and leave your comments on the video or live chat, if it's possible. If you are new on this channel, I do these live walking tours at least three times a week. Alright, let's see. We are almost there. Can you see that? That's the circle we would like to see. Let's move. So the magic mushroom jungle finish here. And we are moving to the other section. That's ma magic mushroom jungle. It's a good location for your joints or <laughs> magic mushrooms I think and the source is here those are the source lights wow I see I hear uh, uh, the audio audio from that light project Okay, where should we go? 
see. Is there an entrance here? Let me see. No, it's pity. Wow, oh, nice. We should turn around. As I read on our Amsterdam website, the colors, lights and audio together, they explain the story of Westerpark. Let's see if we can understand what's the story. <laughs> Where is the entrance? Okay, let's walk a little bit more. Amsterdam Arena, Arena is like 30 or 40 minutes from here by transportation, public transport. So with Amsterdam standards, I can say far away. <laughs> yes, I am trying to entrance, trying to find the entrance. I think it's here. I'll go down. Ah, finally we found it. Thank you. Salt all Alan, by the way. Hey Adrian, thank you. Okay, I'm oops. Right. By the way, this performance takes 20 minutes and it continue. It continues every 20 minutes. I think it's the end of the performance, it, it's gonna start again. Yes, it's coming. Are you ready? I'm gonna walk to the other side. Paolo Mello, you are a real hard worker, thank you so much. the show. By the way, we are here for 15 minutes and we will finish the video here. And there are 60 lights. There are 60 surrounds the little lake. It's surreal.
almost landing. And uh, let me show you the lake. Take a look at the white screen. Can you see the fireworks? Illegal fireworks over there. <laughs> this is not the part of this is not part of the light performance. In Amsterdam there are only two events you can visit nowadays. This is the second one. The first one is Amsterdam Light Festival. I don't know if it's still open. The second one is this. There is no any other event.
what a scene. Yes, fortunately today I'm not drunk. <laughs> so I can look around. Let's take a selfie together. Oh wow, the light source is here. I'm going back to the starting point. All the lights are on now. Did you like it? What do you think? It's a short, sweet performance. Light and audio, visual image together. If you ask me, I find it interesting and it's a good opportunity to, to walk around where everything is closed in lockdown in Amsterdam. So there is a few events like this, Amsterdam Light Festival and this Arctic Light performance. Thank you. That children's scream is not part of the show.
I guess it's the end of the story. See, there's a lightsaber here. Yes, Angelo, I think the same. It's a great opportunity to residents of the city, locals of the city. It's a free event at all under lockdown conditions. Open air uh, art project. And please find the description to check all the details, name of the artist and their website. If you are interested. That's the end of the story for this video. I don't know if the performance has finished, but I'm gonna finish the video because it's being late. I'll go back to home and rest for a while. I will keep some energy for the New Year Eve. On the New Year Eve, two live streams, we will uh, stroll around empty Amsterdam streets and we will try to find something illegal, something illegal, fireworks, explosive and drunk people. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks to all Patreon and YouTube members, supporters. See you on Friday if you have time on the New Year Eve. That was the happy ending. Did you see that? <laughs> Thanks, Angela, Demirji, Robson, Wang, Paul, Paul Morris, Natch, GGM, Ron, Adrian, Lola, Martin, De Jong, Viral is here, thank you, David, Feinafund, good evening, see you, bye bye. Thanks, Sundari, bye bye. Murat <laughs>